Well, good morning, everyone. Check it out. Beautiful sunshine and palm trees as we enter, you can see it in front of me, Daytona International Speedway for a week of awesomeness starting right now. Heck yeah. Good morning, everyone. We got to go this way. This sign wants infield camping to go over here for some, some staging. Boy, it was uh, tough to get these tickets, guys, but uh, we are going to have a blast. Uh, it is currently Monday the 13th today, and we don't check out until Monday the thing, 19th of next week. These are all the outdoor area campers that are going to get in the grandstands, but we're doing something spectacular. The best thing ever. We're going to camp inside the track in the infield. We got to get checked in though still. So uh, we got a long, long morning ahead. All right, following this uh, golf cart here. Another sign for infield camping. I like this new system. This wasn't in place when I started going to these Daytona races. It was a long, long line out there. Almost all the way out to Interstate 4. But now they do all their inspections and run through and check your RV and and all that stuff and give you everything out here and then they bring you inside the tunnel here. Uh, people can check in now, anytime between now and right up until the race. There's different times they'll open it up, but I think there's a lot of benefits to getting here early, early first. And as you can see, we are literally probably, I'm gonna say the 10th or 12th RV checking in for Daytona. We are early guys. It's awesome. All right, they did their little checks around. They wanna look in all the cubby holes. They don't go inside your RV anymore, at least not here. I don't think they're going to. They used to, I remember one year, they made me open the bathroom door. They wanted to look in there and they wanna look in the top area inside the RV. And uh, yeah, anyway, got my wristband. It's orange this year for the infield pass, which means, and there is one more wristband that I got with this more on this later by the way this is a sold out event this sold out march of last year actually and i was really bummed that i couldn't go and then i had a friend with a ticket and said i can't go but here if you want to go just pay the face value of the tickets you can go literally did not plan this i, I swear guys also got a little daytona package for the little goodie bag with schedule and all the races going on this week so we're close. They have moved this row past us over onto the right, and we are the next row to go in under the tunnel and get parked for the week. God, oh, check it out. They're waving us through the green flag and the checkered flag. It's racing time. Oh, I'm so excited. There is nothing like the Daytona 500 experience. Of course, I want to do some more tracks. Yeah, possibly even this year, more on that later. But for right now, we have got to start the season off officially here at the Daytona 500. Ah, oh, this is gonna be an awesome week. Just an awesome, epic week. All right, we got one more sharp right-hand turn to make to go through, and then we are gonna find our way on the infield here, guys. Again, all of these people camping outside, while it might be a lot cheaper to camp out there, you know, you still gotta buy tickets to get inside and sit in a seat. And that's just, just not the, just not what I wanna do. So, we are going this way. I've been here a few times before, so this is all familiar. Right in front of us where that white trailer is off to the left, that's where you have to park your motorcycle because they won't allow you to bring motorcycles in. So I didn't even bother with it this year. I'll let you know what's going on uh, when we get parked here. Here we go. This is the front stretch and the start of turn one. And we're going underneath the tunnel of the track here at the Daytona International Speedway. Look how freaking awesome this is, guys. They did get a little bit of rain, so there's some moisture on the ground. We got it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And now we will go up this hill here, and we are officially in the infield. Somebody's still blowing their horn back there. Look what I started. <laughs> All right, Geico grounds yellow off to our left. We're not doing it. 
We're not doing it this year, guys. We're doing something totally different. Goodbye, yellow horseshoe loop and turn one. We are going to the opposite corner of the track, folks. And if you look off to our right, you can see the bank of turn one going into turn two here. Look at that bank, guys. Woo wee. Yeah, a lot of people. These are all premium sites. They actually got to check in on Saturday. They will be here for nine days in these premium sites. These are four to five thousand dollars. I'm not kidding. And they can't even make it one week. They're already pumping their poop. <laughs> I can boondock for one week. No problem. No problem at all. But uh, yeah, let's go find our parking spot over in Geico Green. Turn four. Okay, now I'm seeing numbers off to our left. There we go, 89, 88, 87, 86 probably, and 85 right here. How do we wanna do this? All right, well, there are some clear benefits to getting here early, and that is parking is easy. As we go throughout the week, you are going to find more and more that it is trickier for RVs to fit in last minute. So I'm glad I am comfortable. I am so excited. This is going to be so awesome, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you all. Speaking of sharing it with you all, I'm uploading this video with the new Nomad Air modem through Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description, guys. You got to get your hands on one of these because this is the only way you're going to make it out there on the road. Speeds up to 100 megabits per second, truly unlimited, unthrottled. I'm going to put some links in the video description to get $25 off plus 10% off all merchandise, including the Nomad Air. Link below in the video description. Check it out now, guys. You are going to love it as much as I do. I've still got to familiarize myself with the schedule this week. I believe there are four different races. Friday, two on Saturday, got the duels and then the big NASCAR race. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Kevin Harvick shirt. This is really special to me because we just found out that this will be Kevin Harvick's very last race. He is retiring after this season, which means I'm going to have to root for someone else next year or whoever else is driving the number four bush -like car. But uh, Kevin Harvick has retired. It's been a heck of a heck of a career for him. He is moving on to Fox Sports Broadcasting. Very, very good uh, plan there, buddy. Anyways, be rooting you on this Sunday as well as the clash on Saturday. There's turn four banking right there. Yeah, I got to get a few more things set up. I'll get back to here once I get a little more comfortable. Oh, let me tell you first, though. So I didn't bring the car, didn't bring the motorcycle, and I didn't bring the trailer. Just wanted to simplify everything. I've got everything stored at a friend's house in Daytona. And uh, I may have a friend joining me in their tow vehicle for the other wristband for later this week. More on that later. All right, slowly starting to get everything together. I got the cat playpen and, and we got Opie and Tara in here playing, fighting. Who's winning? Are you guys doing some WWE wrestling? Get her, Opie. Opie's been like kind of doing laps. Tara doesn't want to run too much, but she does play with Opie. Hi, Opie. Hi, Opie. Hi, Tara. How's my kitties? You guys play, okay? You got lots of room to run around and get out all that energies, okay? Right here at the Daytona Raceway. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I'm parked for a week straight. We ain't leaving. <laughs> I don't have a car to leave. <laughs> Oh man, I'm in my happy place. My two favorite things, Disney and Daytona. I did them both this year. Man, freaking awesome. We'll have to uh, go easy on the beer here. I'll show you, I'll show you. Now before you judge, you know, I, I, I'm really trying to do my best because I'm only gonna drink one a day. I've only got seven for seven days. So I can only drink one a day. <laughs> 24 packs. <laughs> Well, you know, the price was right and you got to stock up because they're going to charge an arm and a leg here in the infield. I believe it's like 12 or $13 beers for a 12 ounce. So you might as well stock up anyway. I've got a fridge that runs on propane. So I'll, as long as I load it up every night and then let them, you know, get chilled over. <laughs> Let's do the math here. 24 times. Wait, we don't have to do the math. There's seven of those and there's seven days. Literally. 24 beers a day. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to have some help here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's just, that looks bad. Just, it looks, shouldn't have shown you that. 
All right, let's go walk around. Actually, I think there's another tunnel right next to me that I didn't even know about at turn four. Right there, can you see the Geico tunnel? I'm gonna go find out if that's an entry exit for us campers here in this specific section, because I've never been over here, I don't know. If I don't have to walk all the way back over, but let's uh, take a look at the schedule here. Tomorrow's February 14th, Valentine's Day. You guys are probably watching this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Whatever. I'm a NASCAR. Uh, okay, not a whole, uh, although Fan Zone does open Wednesday the 15th, that's where we'll start with, with my next video. The first race, we've got the duels. Duel one and two is gonna be Thursday night at seven and 8.45. Then Friday, the Xfinity race, the Next Era 250 at 7.30 p.m., a night race. Saturday, oh, we got a 1.30 p.m. Bandit 200 race and the 5 p.m. Truck Series race on Saturday. And then Sunday at 2.30, of course, is the Daytona 500. Let's, oh, look at that Super C. Ooh -wee. Yeah, let's go uh, try to exit the infield. I guess I set my beer down. I set my beer down. All right. Let's go, boogity. Ooh, there's an airstream pulling in right now. Uh, something I forgot to mention, because I've never been over here at Geico Green, I've always been in yellow, is that uh, you got this. It's a perk, right? Water. They got a whole bunch of connections on there so that everybody can get water. Pretty much every two or three sites, they've got one. Here in Geico Green, you get drinking water, unlimited, no power, no septic, no propane, but you can have that delivered to your RV. So leaving Geico Green Campground, there's another tunnel here at turn four. Although you can't get an RV down, it looks pretty low clearance. And by the way, I looked at the forecast and uh, the weather looks amazing this week in Daytona for the first time ever. It might be a beautiful, beautiful week. Coca-Cola, the official soft drink in NASCAR. There's the tunnels and there's a little walkway here that we can uh, walk right through. Granted, it is a lot less epic than the main tunnel over there. And there's our sign, look, clearance seven, six. So not even that many trucks can really fit through here, but it is an option and a nice little walking trail here. I just kind of want to go see what's on the other side. So I know uh, you can't even buy any merchandise yet until Wednesday. So I can't even get a magnet. So that's why we're going to go check out and see what's going on on the other side of turn four. Well, that was easy, like a two minute walk from the tunnel there. And now we're out here on International Speedway Drive. There's an IHOP over there and a bunch of other little stores. I'm looking for a merch shop, see if we can get a magnet. All right, it says we got William France and Anne France, the founders of NASCAR here in bronze, uh, right next to the official Daytona International Speedway Tours and gift shop area. Oh, wow, yeah, they have a massive uh, museum here, and they got a current version uh, stock car here that you can drive and ride today. That would be fun. You can buy tickets in here. They've also got a restaurant, the Fourth Turn Grill, and the Pit Shop merchandise. Yeah, lots and lots of NASCAR stuff. Oh geez, the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Huh. Tolkien koozies, they've got stickers and pins and patches, and there's a magnet. <laughs> it's got a gator riding <laughs> if that's the only magnet i'll get it and i know to get them early now because i missed out a couple years ago wow there's the official 2023 logo there hmm oh hey i did find more magnets i have this one but uh there's a couple over here like this one shows the two and a half mile oval loop so um oh wow nascar 75th anniversary Hmm, I'll pick one to let you know. Lot, lot, lots to choose from. Wait a minute, never mind. I'm getting this one because it says 2023 on it. Oh, wow. Look at the 2023 jacket. Wow. And the hoodie. Ooh, ooh. 
that is cool. All right, I'll show you what I got when I get back to the RV, but wanted to show you that they do have a Daytona 500 pet ID tag engraving station here with some pretty cool pet ID looking tags. Pretty cool, but my kitties are up to date and uh, I'm only doing the Disney ones for Jax, but just want to show you that those are here in the gift store too. All right, we're back to the RV. Got a couple Daytona 500 2023 uh, can coolers. Yeah, koozies. And a 65th running of Daytona 500 t-shirt in the style of, well, almost kind of like the Harley shirts that I collect. And then it's got a little patch emblem on the front as well. Now let's open up this magnet and put that where it belongs. Oh, how are we running out of room already? This has been a busy season, guys. Oh my. Well, um, huh. Okay. <laughs> it's going to have to go there for now. Oh, that looks great. Go ahead and load up the new koozie here. I actually brought bush light and bud light for the record, but yeah, I do have some, some bud lights too, but oh yeah, looking good. I got some uh, neighbors here, two sites over. They're also from Texas and uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to fill this place up. Some people may not show up till Sunday. See, there's no discount for showing up late. It's just some people's lives are too busy or they have to work this whole week so they have to skip all the races and then just come attend the 500. So we may not have anybody show up here until Sunday morning. We'll just have to wait and see. Ah, oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. That's right, y'all. I am fully prepared for the Daytona 500. Woo, just waiting for Bud Light to sponsor me. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, no. My buddy Robert says I, could, I should drink a water between every two beers, and then I'll and then I'll be okay. <sighs> now back to the beer. Oh yeah! I'll, I'll pour me a glass. <laughs> Y'all be well. I gotta pace myself. It's going to be a long week here. I'll see you in a few days, guys. Bye bye.